and welcome to another session on freshersworld.com's YouTube channel. My name is Krupa Balakrishna and in this session I will be taking you through information or certain basic information required for graduate engineers or for aspiring graduate engineers. Engineering is a dream that many students in our country dream of. However, with certain information or being aware of the essential information with regards to graduate engineering, you will be able to achieve that dream easily and with much more efficiency. The first important aspect of becoming an engineer is the qualification needed. Usually, a B.Tech, a B.E. that is a Bachelor's in Engineering or a Bachelor's in Technology is what is required to become a graduate engineer. Sometimes people also go up to the level of M.Tech. The various the sources from which you could obtain the qualification to become a graduate engineer range from the Indian Institute of Technology, the National Institute of Technology to various universities and engineering colleges that specialize in providing degrees for graduate engineers. You could also obtain diplomas to become a graduate engineer but then you will still need to complete your B.Tech degrees or B.E. degrees to become a graduate engineer or an engineer. Apart from qualifications, other requisites which a graduate engineer needs to possess are certain skills. The first of these is knowledge of your core subject. Now when I say core subject, I refer to the core subject in your branch of engineering. For instance, you could be a mechanical engineer and you should be aware of your core subject which could be thermodynamics or you could be a civil engineer and you must be aware or have knowledge in your core subject which could be strength of materials. Apart from knowledge of your core subject, you need to be aware of the specific changes and updates in your particular field. This is an essential feature not just for graduate engineer but for any fresher for that matter. Next aspect of a good graduate engineer is basic understanding of other disciplines of engineering. This is essential because in your day to day working, you will be dealing with other engineers or other professionals from other departments. For instance, you could be dealing with mechanical engineers from the product department, you could be dealing with suppliers and so on. So make sure that you have basic understanding of all the departments or branches of engineering. Another important skill is familiarity with industrial standards. Now when I say industrial standards, I refer to the standard or the quality of work that is being conducted in your companies. Usually when graduate engineers move from their campus to placement, there's a lot of differences that are taking place. They're quite overwhelmed with those changes. Right from the processes that are involved in hiring to the operations that they happen on everyday basis, they are quite consumed with the sheer magnitude of the difference that is present in the day-to-day -day operations. So it's essential that you're able to bridge this gap. You can do so by taking up professional certifications or even internships. The certifications are essential for any profession for that matter. They give a competitive edge over other candidates. So make sure that as a graduate engineer, you do have certifications as well. The average salary range of a fresher graduate engineer is around 3,40,000 per annum. The best companies to work for as a graduate engineer are of course your MNCs like Infosys, Wipro, IBM, Deloitte and Cognizant and also TCS. There are other companies or what we call as top recruiting firms. There is another video which specifically focuses on the top hiring companies for graduate engineers. Do stay tuned in for those videos and do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.